In this video, we are going to be constructing this panel as shown on the screen. So first of all, we can draw our horizontal line, which is going to be a very thin line, if possible a thin long chain line. Then we draw our vertical line also, like this, our vertical line. Then we pick our set square, which is 30 degree, and draw angle 30 degree to the horizontal, like this, like this. Then we change it to the 60 degree angle side and draw 60 degree also to the horizontal like this like this so this is going to be 30 degree and this is going to be 60 60 degree so now after we are done with that we are going to be picking our compass as we can see this place length is actually 30 30 millimeter which is going to be 15 on the left hand side and 15 on the right hand side so we'll pick our compass picking 15 millimeter with our compass we are going to draw like this on the left hand side and also mark it like this so now picking our com our set square we are going to draw a straight line that's at angle 30 degree parallel to the 30 degree angle line that we drew at first so it's going to be like this also like this so now after we are done with drawing our straight line we are going to pick our rulers we can see the height above at which the arc our arc of our spanner is going to start from is actually 8 millimeter that's 0 0.8 centimeter so i'm going to mark 0 0.8 centimeter on i'm going to mark 0 0.8 centimeter on this line here now with angle 60 degree i'm going to be drawing a straight line please make sure it's a thin line so i'm going to be drawing a straight line like this so now what we are going to be doing is we are going to draw our first arc which is this particular arc as we can see the radius is 24 millimeters so on our compass we are going to pick radius 24 radius 24 millimeter yeah so i've picked my 24 24 millimeter now i'll place it at this point and draw like this. so this is my radius 24 millimeter now we are going to see that there is an arc here and another arc here we are going to be drawing that particular arc now and as you can see the arc here and the arc here is having radius 26 millimeter so i'm going to pick 26 millimeter radius on my compass now after picking that i'm going to place my compass at this point then at this point where it's where it meets this line i'm going to mark a point and i'm going to also mark my points here also so from this point i'm going to draw a curve like this like this please make sure it's with thin line then at this point also i'm going to be drawing another curve like this now as we can see the radius of this one that is joining this place together is a radius of 48 millimeter so i'm going to pick 48 millimeter on my compass like this 48 millimeter on my compass now i'll place it at the center here then from the point at which here and here i'm going to draw so now i'm going to be thickening out the parts that is actually needed so i've taken out the points now what we are going to be drawing we are going to be drawing the handle of the spanner which is this particular handle so as we can see the handle length is actually 30 millimeter but as we can see on the diagram is actually 8 millimeter from the um, on the top and then 22 millimeter from the bottom which is making it 30 millimeter so i'm going to pick 8 millimeter from here like this 8 millimeter then i'm going to pick 22 millimeter towards the down part then i pick my c square now and draw a thin line here and also draw another 
thin line like this so now what we are going to be doing next we are going to be drawing this particular arc that is here like this so in order to do that we can see that the radius is actually 52 millimeter and the radius of this our larger circle is 48 millimeter so we are going to first of all pick our 52 millimeter on our compound from this edge we are going to pick 52 millimeter now then draw a straight line like this to this point then from this particular place here we can see that this place is 48 millimeter radius and this is 52 millimeter so 48 plus 52 is 100 now i'm going to pick the radius of 100 millimeter on my compass like this radius of 100 millimeter on my compass then from this center point o here i'm going to mark this particular point let me label here as point O. I'm going to mark this particular point. So from this particular point to this point is 52. So I'll pick my 52 on my com on my compass. I'll pick my 52 millimeter on my compass. Compass. So placing it at this point to this point, I'll draw my arc like this. Like this. So now we are going to be doing exactly the same thing for this particular upper part. Upper part. Now I'm going to be picking 24 millimeter upward. So 24 millimeter upward, like this, from this particular point. So I will draw a straight line. Please make sure it's a thin line. Please make sure it's a thin line. Now, as we can see, this particular place too is 48 millimeter radio and 24 this is 24 millimeter so 48 plus 24 is going to be 72 so i'll pick 72 millimeter on my ruler 72 millimeter on my ruler like this then from here so that's the center i'm going to mark this particular point like this now from the point to this place is actually 24 millimeter so i'm going to pick 24 millimeter on my on my compass also using my ruler i'm going to pick 24 millimeter then from this point from this point to this place i'm going to draw my curve like this so we are done with drawing the curve what we are just going to do is to extend the handle a little bit this is actually an half spanner so i'm going to extend the handle a little bit then show the breakage i'm going to be showing the breakage like this like this so this is our spanner if you found value in this video please kindly hit the subscribe button i'm on my way to 300 subscribers help me to do that and if you have any recommendation for future videos kindly put it down in the comment section I'm always of help for you. Peace.